Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. Last we left off, uh, we had just completed Horizon and we're talking with our crewmates and finding out that some folks may have some unfinished business. I came back up here and was told by Kelly that Miranda has a word that she wants to share with me. Kind of makes sense that the first two to talk to me about this would be the Cerberus operatives, given that they were the first two on the team. Alright. So let's go see what it is that Miranda has to tell us. What unfinished business could she possibly have? Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. I see. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister. A twin. And he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe. Until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium. Safe and hidden from my father. On Ilium, huh? We've got quite a few missions over that way. So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? Why the butt she's shot? She's my genetic twin. We're identical. But she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. Yeah, why, why does it need to zoom in on her ass? W repeatedly. Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus, and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. Well, sure. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. Okay. So, when we're on Ilium, whenever that is, we'll have to go and take care of that. While we're in the area... Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Wow, you really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I couldn't take that. They creep the hell out of me. Well, okay then. So someone who was originally stationed to be on Horizon. So, Garrus, are you still calibrating? Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm yeah. in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Except I'll be calibrating, so I won't actually be here. So if you want to talk to me, that's too bad. I'll be calibrating. Constantly. Also, calibrating is code word for... <clears throat> anyway. There will be more missions to have. And then, anything new? Oh, did I get any new messages? I think I already checked all of them, but... Yeah, okay. So, as I said, I did some planet scanning in between videos. And I found a couple of anomalies. And there's also Faryar over there, which has the secure the smuggled cargo. Which I'll be happy to do. But first, let's pursue this anomaly. Thankfully, they label it for us just in case we get lost. So, Xanathu. Anomaly detected. Alright. Alliance hotspot detected. Let all ships keep watch for signs of the missing freighter MSV Estevanico. Lost one year in this sector. Structural integrity is critical, life support is damaged, but capable of sustaining a skeleton crew. 
Alright. Let's check this out. If only the game will load. Ah. This, I believe, is a solo mission. And is this the... Yep, this is the one I'm thinking it was. Joy. So, um, yeah. This place is a little unsteady. It's a crash it's site. That searching the wreckage would provide information about the Estevanico's final hours. Warning. Disturbing the wreck could cause it to become unbalanced and fall over the cliff's edge. Could be. Alright, so that's not working. And you can actually see it tilting and wobbling in space. This is terrifying, but really cool. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be traveling down this way. Nothing in particular to indicate where I'm supposed to be going. Well, I can't go any further that way. And there's nothing down that way that I can do. Okay, so... Yeah, this this little mini quest thing. Oh. Ah, damn it. That's right. We don't have the ability to jump in this game. Now you may laugh at me for saying so, but that's actually something we can do in the next one. So I think Oh, yeah. Those tiles, huh? Oh, I think I know what I need to do. Okay, you'll have to excuse me if I don't actually know what I'm doing. Yeah, because, um... Because I don't. Most of the time, I'm... I'm I, I mean, I know enough how to get through this game for the most part, but if you expect me to be a masterful, knowledgeable expert on this, I'm afraid that um, there are many people that are far more knowledgeable about this game than I am. But look, I made a bridge. Yay! I got some, some uh, iridium for my trouble. So this is basically one giant puzzle to figure out how to get from point A to point B. And point B is somewhere over that way. Something like that. And it's a lot of going back and forth, sort of, and making sure that to, to make things fall in the proper order. What are you doing? No, no. Shepard. Shepard. Uh, yeah. There's no way to get through there. Alright. Put that away. You don't need your gun out. If you run into something to attack here, Shepard, I will be incredibly surprised. Alright. You want to get up there, maybe? Can you only jump up? Why... Why can I not get up there? Do I have to cross over here? No? Lorelei are confused. Uh, 
Why did that work, but not... <clears throat> right. Okay. So is there anything over here that I need to worry about? No. I guess I may as well keep the gun out, since if I try to climb up on anything, she pulls out her gun. I have to climb up on that box. Better pull out my gun just in case. Okay. Ah! Okay, that actually spooked me. That would be, uh, point B, by the way. And, again, you can see the environment in the background shifting. It's actually pretty cool. Get across there. And the more you run around, the more, um, disturbing this whole thing gets. The creaking and the groaning, which... which gets louder and f faster and more, f more frequent the longer you do it. And the further you get. So, now what I don't understand is why she can't, say, just jump down from here to there. But, you know, I don't know. Oh! Oh, God. Things are shifting. Don't shift. I'm probably not going the right direction here. Okay, but we do want to go down that way. So. Yeah, you can pretty much tell you're going the right way when things start doing that, for example. More iridium, yay! There's iridium over that way. Not that I need it, but... Usually if someone has laid something out for you... Yep, this is the right way to go. fun little trip. <laughs> little nerve-wracking. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, you're, you're probably not really in any actual danger there. I mean, to my knowledge, I've never had a case where Commander, I've... you've received a new message at your private terminal. Where I've failed that, but it still really does a good job of setting up the mood that you're in danger. An amazing find from R Dr. Richard Tallis, curator at the Alliance Museum of the Galactic Exploration, Earth. You have our thanks for recovering the data from the MSVS Devandico. The data shows that the ship was attacked and overrun by blood pack mercenaries and forged shoulder sol shoulders soldiers. According to the dated records, this, f this was the first Alliance crew to encounter the Vorcha. How frightened they must have been. We, they, we are sending salvage crews now to recover whatever they can for the museum. Thank you again for your dedication. Thank you again from Martin Burns. Regina said this would reach you. I wanted you to know that I haven't forgot what you said to me the day those crazy biotics took me hostage. 
You talked them down, and you got me off that ship alive. I won't lie to you. I took this job for the pull and the power. I saw the biotics issue as a stepping stone, something good to put on my resume, and I was wrong. We all serve human <clears throat> humanity in our own way. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm going to see to it that humanity reaches its potential with a minimum of bloodshed. I'm receiving letters of thanks from L2 Biotics, who just received their reparations. Those letters sh should really be coming to you. I just thought you should know. Good luck. I've taken some political heat, so I don't know if that any offer to help you would be ever be useful, but if you need me, I won't let you down. Martin Burns. I am not going to read that letter now. That will happen at a later time. I don't feel like reading it now. I have an anomaly to pursue. <sighs> Besides which, there is smuggled cargo to pursue. Eh, not really. I'll get to that one later, actually. to refuel because it's really a bad idea to run out of it because as I said it starts burning uh, uh, resources so there's the Rosetta Nebula and Jacob's mission is over this way planet that is most well known for its max mass extinction event. Something on our sensors. Blue Sun's encoding protocols. S rumored site of illegal archaeological activity. Blue Sun's intentions unknown. Well, let's investigate, shall we? Yep, here's my man, and you were really good at helping with crowd control, so well, I'm not gonna take you along this time, Jack. And we're good there. It's kind of strange that smoking cigarettes of any kind is something that's just so universal throughout the galaxy. Well, you know, we were spotted coming in, so that's always a good sign. Get him! Get him? Insufficient cover, sir. Zero. Wait, element zero. It's actually a pretty significant chunk of element zero, too. Alright, so... Am I going to recover any ammo? Fragile crate. Intense music. Ah, there we go. What? What? What was that? 
Well, on that note, we're out of time for this installment of Let's Play Mass Effect 2. But I hope to see you next time, where we continue through that door. Hope to see you then!